Welcome back to the, show, to the show, folks. How do you like your popcorn? Do you like it plain? You got salt, cheese? You know, there's a local guy who can make it any kind of way you want it. Here's how it's made. Bacon, barbecue, chili, lime, cheesecake, and we've got sea salt and cracked pepper. Keith Forster knows popcorn, and he should. You'll find him daily popping and flavoring popcorn at his candy shop, Papa Corn. In fact, he has it down to a size. This is a 60 ounce popper, but we pop about 48 ounces of popcorn at a time because it gives the popcorn more room and lets it get bigger and doesn't kind of crowd it out quite so much. It's the heat that triggers the kernel. What makes that kernel pop, you can think of it just real simply as there being a little drop of water inside that kernel and it needs to boil. So water boils at 212. This gets much hotter than that. So I let it get a little bit hotter because it, it makes that um, explosion a little bit more violent and it gets it bigger. And the type of kernel plays an important role. Our seed specifically is um, a seed called Monster Mushroom. And what you're popping at home is usually gonna be more of a butterfly popcorn. So when it pops, it opens up and it's got real petals on it. It's a nice tender popcorn, but it's also pretty fragile. This pops more like a fist. And, and, and so the petals never really open up, which it's a little bit chewier, but it allows us to do things like the caramel corn and put the cheeses and everything on it, where if, if we try to do that to that uh, butterfly popcorn, the petals will start coming off and you'll get lots of crumbles. You may also notice not all the kernels pop. You know, when, when anything's growing, um, you might have particular seeds that just don't have enough moisture in them, so they never got quite hot enough to, um, to, to um, cause that explosion. Fresh out the popper, this type of kernel is very chewy, which happens to be the way I like my popcorn. But if you like it crispy, Keith says just allow it to sit for a little while. <laughs> now back to the flavors. What we haven't showed you is when we slide this out, we go to the luxury side of things. Uh-oh. This is when we start dunking things into chocolate. So you can see we have a cinnamon bun and a red velvet. We've got our milk chocolate Oreo. As you can see, he could do this all day. Buffalo. Oh, he has <laughs> every flavor under the sun. What you have in front of you is corn fetti. So the okay. different uh, colors, they're different flavors. Mm. See if you can taste the difference. Yeah, it's great. And some of them, grape. Yeah, oh, the grape there. I like the crisp. The like crisp. Most of those are going to be crisp because those are candy flavors. Oh. So they got candy here. Okay. There's peanut, oh, uh, pina colada in there, mm. vanilla, Ooh. and then he has this, which I was very intrigued by. This is called dill pickle. Oh. oh Would you be willing now. to try it? I'm good. Sure. Try. I'll no, try. no, no. Try I'll it. Try. Please try. I should have. So what? This off so right how? Now. What's the difference between? The soft, you said you like it soft, and the crispy. What's the difference like the in chewy. how you, you're the chewy. Chewy, with, like as soon as it comes out of the popper, it's chewy. Oh, that's when it's yeah, chewy. Yeah, you have to wait a while for it to get like crisp. You so like okay. Take some popcorn. of this right here. Okay. This, is, this is dill pickle. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. why don't you try it? This is his number one seller right here. Okay. You wouldn't think it. You can smell it, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah, taste oh, it. Oh, gosh. Taste it. It's, it's, like like a pickle. A, it's like a little salt and vinegar kind yeah. of taste. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. good. Very good. Yeah. Oh. Very good. Keith is looking for new flavors. So if oh, you have a flavor that you want to come up with, let him know. Because we popping? Uh, yeah, yeah, because we popping. We popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does, he, does, <laughs> he does themes as well. So he does all kinds of Atlanta themes with the uh, with the uh, the soccer team and the football team and the basketball team. So, yeah. <laughs> Didn't like it? I put too much in my mouth and I was like, oh, I agree. Oh, yeah. Did he offer any advice on how to keep the kernels out of your teeth? Water. Mm. Water. That's okay. it. Oh, my water. All you right. Go. It's a good thing you're doing weather now because we can't talk. Right, right, right. All right. <laughs> That's the other thing. You can popcorn <laughs> on TV. Don't do that either. That's why I didn't eat any. Because I have to do the weather. Let's go. Ooh, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Oh, yeah.